Hello, everyone. In this session, I will talk about some tips and tricks for migration of an iOS code base to Bazel. Here's the agenda for today. I will go in order from why migrate, then migration best practices, and lastly, Bazel for iOS tips and tricks. So why did we migrate Line iOS project to Bazel? As many Line services grew, naturally, the Line iOS app has also grown to a huge code base over the years. Such a situation declined productivity of all the developers working on the project. Given that, as part of an initiative to improve productivity of projects build performance and developers, we decided to migrate to the Bazel build system with high speed reproducibility and advanced caching feature. If you are interested in learning about the detailed process of our migration, please check out the Line Developer Day sessions from last year. Now, I'll show you the result of the migration. After migration, the build time has been reduced by half on average. The details are available on the Line Engineering blog from this link. If interested, please give it a read. Now, I'd like to talk about what kind of approaches we took when migrating to Bazel. First, we kept the project structure simple. During and after the migration, we made sure that we maintain the build systems of both Bazel and Xcode. If you keep your project structure as simple as possible, it'll help you sync those build systems in build uh, settings and others. In line iOS projects, the targets other than the third parties, we have one module for one directory with the same name for module and directory so that we can have a flat directory structure across the board. When adding a new target, if we define one build file and one project.yaml file respectively, all of the files in the directory become the source of the target. Build file is used for Bazel and project.yaml file is used for Xcode gen to generate Xcode project locally for development. We also make sure to minimize the difference in build settings between targets. There was a bonus point too. Since the Swift module generation header is automatically contained in the search path, in the case of mixed language targets, you can import without adding header search path or using header map. When header search path increases, it can affect the build speed, so this was an advantage. We needed to support both of the build systems during the migration, but even after the migration to Bazel, it was beneficial to still support Xcode. Supporting both systems can help us constantly measure how much faster it got and how much change we see in binary size by migrating from Xcode to Bazel. Also, as the annual WWDC, Xcode new features may be announced. When they are not supported by Bazel, we can still try out with Xcode. Also, in the case of some projects, Xcode still provides better debugging experience in local build. Now, I'll introduce you to some tips and tricks for iOS build with Bazel. First, avoid mixed Objective-C and Swift modules as much as possible. It goes the same way as building with Xcode, but with the mixed Objective-C and Swift module, code change in one language code may trigger a full rebuild of the other language code, which could lead to slow down the build. It may be hard in the existing code base, but try to avoid the mixed language module as much as possible. In addition, mixed language target is not officially supported by Bazel, so you will need to create a custom rule 
If necessary, please refer to the open source rule developed by LINE. Also, although mixed language target requires module maps in most cases, module maps use its own cache model, which means it won't be cached by Bazel. Because of this, if you use remote execution, the Objective-C build will take so much time. Currently, in many companies, engineers work from home most of the time. Due to the network environment at home, it may be faster to build locally than using remote cache. For such cases, it's better to have a way to disable remote cache in build settings. Also, when using remote cache, make sure to optimize the download speed. If your internal VPN becomes a bottleneck, it's better to provide remote cache without VPN. If you have multiple locations for development like LINE, I might recommend that you provide distributed remote cache. To get the most out of remote cache, try to minimize cache misses. If you are to investigate the reproducibility of a build, run a build without cache options twice or run two different builds on two different machines to get the basal execution logs. By comparing the logs, you can identify non-reproducible build actions. If debug info is built in a Swift object, Clang precompiled module, which is an absolute path of PCM file, will be written. So if you build on separate machines, different binaries will be generated. To keep the build reproducibility of Swift, I recommend that you enable the front end option under the Swift compiler. Even with that option enabled, sometimes not all PCM files path gets deleted. In the line iOS, iOS team, we fork Swift rule and to improve the build reproducibility, we add the flag you can see at the bottom. With this flag, even if module path remains in the binary, it doesn't depend on the build environment, so we can realize reproducibility. After migration to Bazel, how much change did we see in binary size? By comparison, unfortunately, the binary size is not optimized even with the Bazel's default release build setting. By default, larger binary is generated compared to the one built on Xcode. In line iOS release build, we add these options to optimize the size. Furthermore, if you add link time optimization flag, you can optimize the size at link time. However, if you use this option, the link time will increase tenfold, so make sure you apply this flag to release bills only. In conclusion, simplify your project structure. If possible, support both Bazel and Xcode for various benefits. Avoid mixed Objective-C and Swift target as much as possible. Provide faster remote cache. Optimize for reproducible builds to get the most out of the cache. Keep binary size manageable and keep monitoring. Thank you so much for your attention.